Hello YouTubers, beer geeks and beer hounds alike. Bill here. We're going to do a beer review today. Okay. This one is by Elijah and it's called Snail Bones IPA. Uh, I've never seen this before. Never heard of it. Nothing. So uh, it just came in. Total wine and more. Uh, this one uh, comes in at 8.5% alcohol by volume and it says um, let loose your love darts and give bones to a beer full of grapefruit peach guava and grape notes brew house we opened our doors in 1996 when bold art and music defined Seattle we carried that same spirit in the way we brew our beers it's about taking chances learning from our mishaps and changing perceptions. Pull up a bar stool at ElijahBrewing.com. Okay. Anyways, uh, yeah, I've never seen this beer before. I do like Elijah Brewery. They make some really awesome beers. A Space Dust being one of them, and they are from Seattle, Washington. I got this in a six pack at Total Wine and More. I think they were going for um, I don't know, twelve bucks for a six pack, but I, I had my rewards so. I got a big discount. Um, this is uh, experienced by 123020. So I'm assuming um, this may be about a month old if they're giving it a four month shelf life. So um, that's what the can looks like. I think this might be a brand new release by them. So um, cool. Very cool. All right. Let's get it crack open and uh, see what we got here. I let my glass warm up a little bit because um, a couple of um, comments were made about uh, frozen glass, and that uh, eh, maybe they're right. So let the glass kind of defrost a little bit first. It's true though, if, if the glass is too cold or frozen, it, it does take a little longer for all the aromas and the flavors to come out. So maybe I'll just start uh, doing reviews uh, without a super cold glass. Snail Bones IP, that's a very weird name for a beer, but okay. Elijah. All right. So, yeah, there we go. We have a huge, uh, frothy, creamy, silky head. A little bit bouncy there. Definitely a West Coast style. Mm, looks pretty clear to me. Doesn't look like there's any haze to it. Maybe a very, very slight haze, but hardly any haze at all. It's for the most Part a clear light amber color. As you can see it's a good looking West Coast style. I mean if anybody knows any other like um, things that would help me improve um, some of the uh, beer reviews let me know. Um, minus learning how to brew beer and all that, learning the hops, but maybe that will come someday. We shall see. It's a good looking beer though, that's for sure. Heads turning rocky. Real thick head. Yep. Alright. Break that head up a little bit so we get some of them aromas coming out. Alright, let's get an aroma. Oh, yeah. Very nice smelling. This looks like a very well constructed beer. 
already. All right. See, that's where um, I think this person makes some sense. I guess um, you know I'm always willing to accept defeat. I'm not the kind of guy that refuses to um, admit that I'm wrong. If you know, if I'm wrong, I will admit it and I'll own up to that. Um, that's just how I am. I wish more people would be like that. But hey, you know what? It is what it is, right? Right up front, you know, I'm getting some um, kind of earthy and some kind of like um, like a malt sweetness coming through, definitely. Kind of like a bradiness. We're getting like uh, some slight pine and um, some earthy kind of spice hops in there. Definitely not fruity. Um, nothing really mimicking fruit either. Um, sometimes the hops, they can smell like some some kind of fruits, but not, not the case here. Getting a slight touch of like a tobacco. Like a bready kind of this, bready sweetness. Then that earthy kind of hop coming through. Let's get a hit, cheers. Mm, pretty good pretty darn good taste follows the aroma hmm it's a very well balanced beer it's got a medium mouth feel Really nice lacing on the glass there. Mm. Mm. I'm almost getting like a a toasty toasty kind of a like a bread toast note coming through. Really nice mouthfeel. Really nice creamy mouth mouth feel. It's got a, a little bit of a beery kind of a kind of a taste. Beery like as like you were drinking like a lager kind of, kind of like a regular lager. It has just kind of a, a beery. You know what I mean, beery. Some people don't know, but that's that's what, how I can describe it. Really um, awesome head retention and lacing on the glass there. It thinks, this thing has a really good malt build to it. I'm not sure what they're using, but it's got a really good... I think the malts are uh, taking the front seat on this puppy. It is 8.5%, um, so it's, it's like almost a triple. Um, what a good deal. Um, pretty damn good deal uh, there's no raw alcohol no it's no booziness or nothing like this a very well constructed beer uh, the hop profile is um, not super complex yeah it's not like super hoppy it's it's a balanced beer uh, it's got a really good malt backbone though. It's good, really super smooth uh, on the sip. I'm not sure if they're using oats in this or not, but it almost feels like it. The creaminess of it. I mean, look at would you look at that? That is awesome. Yeah, the earthy spices, earthy spice hops are pretty much the main hop I'm picking up excuse me sorry good carbonation okay yeah it's um it's not super complex 
pretty straightforward, uh, balanced. It's got a really good malt backbone, uh, brightiness, slight toastiness, uh, earthy hops. That's pretty much what I'm getting. I mean, they're they're speaking of like um, grapefruit, peach, guava, <laughs> grape. I'm not getting anything like that at all. Um, nothing. None of them notes are are here. And it's fresh. I'm just getting like a hoppiness, and it's more like an earthy kind of a hop. Um, definitely no. There's maybe a touch of pine, but not so much. But uh, that's pretty much what I got on this puppy. It's a very well constructed beer. No booziness or alcohol note, raw alcohol notes at all. Um, super smooth, pretty simple, straightforward. So um, that's pretty much what I got on this puppy. Uh, on a scale of one to five stars, uh, two and a half being C average. Mm, I'm gonna give this one a four stars out of five. It's pretty darn good. I just wish it had a little more complexity in the hop department, but you know what? For what I paid for it, you can't beat it at eight and a half percent. And it, you know, the smoothness and the, the balance that it has, um, it's a re really good beer. Uh, if you see it, uh, and it's fresh, I would pick it up. It's, it's an awesome beer, 8.5%. You'll get your buzz on real good. We'll swill it one more time just to make sure. Cheers. Yeah, I'm not getting any of them fruit notes they mentioned. It's just all hops and malts, but a very well constructed hop and malt beer. So uh, that's pretty much what I got on Snail Bones IPA by Elijah. And uh, you know what? I think I'm going to bump this up to 4.1. I think it's a little better than a straight 4. Might as well kill it with you, huh? That's pretty good. It really kind of tastes like stone beer. Um, some of the it almost tastes like stone and joy by to be honest the the later ver the latest versions they came out with it's, it pretty much tastes like stone and joy by to me not the old stone and joy by from years ago that was totally different the new stone that enjoy by they've been coming out with like this year this tastes like that it tastes like this this tastes like that Nothing but foam. All right, so yeah, 4.1. It's pretty good beer, high alcohol, get your buzz on, good good value. So uh, 4.1 it is, that's my story, and I'm gonna stick with that. I'll have a description of this beer at the bottom of the video in the description section. Please like and subscribe, I'd much appreciate that. I'm gonna give this puppy horns up. All right, so 4.1, and uh, we'll check y'all later. See ya.